Hello everybody, welcome back to Crash Course Entomology. Today we will be learning about the arthropods and arthropod diversity. Arthropods are a group of diverse organisms. In fact, they're the most diverse group of organisms on the planet, but they all share five important traits. A segmented body made of fused ancestral plates, paired and jointed appendages, a hardened exoskeleton, ancestral compound eyes, and an open circulatory system where blood-like fluids bathe cells rather than being carried by veins as well as a nerve cord that lines the underside. The arthropodophyllum can be broken up into four major subgroups, including Chelicerata, Myriapoda, Crustacea, and Hexapoda. The main focus of the science of entomology is the hexapod branch of arthropods. This group includes all insects as well as a few choice other groups of arthropods. What separates this group from other arthropods is their three distinct body regions, the head, the thorax, and the abdomen. Their six walking appendages, which is where the name hexapod comes from, as well as a reduced number of leg segments. The segmentation of the insect body into three distinct regions is a result of a process known as tagmosis. Tagmosis is the fusion of body segments into specialized regions known as tagmata. Six legs are divided into three pairs. Ordering from head to abdomen, these legs are referred to as the prothoracic legs, the mesothoracic legs, and the metathoracic legs. The insect leg is divided into five parts, known as the coxa, the trochanter, the femur, the tibia, and the tarsus or tarsal claw. Larvae of some insects, such as caterpillars, have many smaller leg protrusions called prolegs that aid in grip and movement. Some characteristics are notable of hexapods, but do not represent the entire group. These include structures like wings and antenna. This is because only certain insects have wings and many other types of arthropods have antenna. By far, the most successful group of both hexapods and all arthropods in general are the insects. There are a few key reasons why the insects became such a successful group and they are as follows. The first reason that insects became so successful is due to the leg up they've had in terms of evolution, with their ancestors colonizing land 400 million years ago, 25 million years before vertebrates. This allowed the insects to diversify rapidly before other groups of animals could. The second reason insects have been so successful is due to their hardiness when it comes to extinction events. During the end Permian event, an extinction event around 252 million years ago, over 95% of marine organisms went extinct, whereas the main terrestrial organisms at the time, the insects, only lost around 55% of all species. In addition, during the Cretaceous Tertiary Extinction 65 million years ago, 50% of all species went extinct. However, insect numbers were relatively unaltered. The third reason insects have been so successful is that they have exceptionally short generation times and produce many offspring. This lends insects the capacity for rapid evolution with a giant gene pool and with new generations coming about often. The fourth and final series of innovations are the physical adaptations that insects have developed. These innovations include a tracheal system for terrestrial respiration, wings for powered flight, neoptery or the folding of wings, and holometabolous development, a system of metamorphosis in which a distinct larva rapidly changes into an adult. Before we look at the many orders of insects that have colonized our planet in the coming lessons, we must first take a look at the three orders of non-insect hexapods. The first non-insect hexapod order where we'll be looking at is the order Columbula, also known as springtails. They are notable for having a jumping organ called a furca and a ventral tube called a colophore. Springtails are incredibly common and are found in leaf litter and moss. They eat microbes and use their furcas to jump. The order Pratura, also known as coneheads, is notable for having no eyes, no antenna, and being unpigmented. Coneheads are found in leaf litter and eat detritus. They use their front legs to sense the environment. The order Diplura, known as two-pronged bristletails, or more commonly, Diplurans, are notable for having no eyes, long bead-like antenna, and conspicuous cerci, either being forked or long. Diplurans are found in leaf litter and can be either predatory or be detritivores. Well, that's about it for this video covering the arthropods and insect evolution. I hope you enjoyed this video. Subscribe for more lessons in entomology and leave a like if you learned something new. Until next time, this has been Crash Course in Entomology.